Oh, give me a second. Alright, so as obviously stated, we went ahead and traded for Miguel Sano. Uh, we traded away Braid and Bishop. Nunez is going to be the new closer for us. I'm probably going to call up someone here. Do I just sign someone for free agency? I need a left-hander though. It's kind of my issue. Oh yeah, he was struggling so much.
give me a second just Just trying to see which like who would be good for us right now. Didn't Homer Bailey like throw like two or three no hitters? It's ridiculous how good he was. Um, problem with that boy is he has no control. Nando Rodney still playing? That's crazy. Had to, we need an extra bullpen guy in the bench. I guess I'll take it. 
I got nothing left. Okay, so. I guess Nick Mark Jazz would be next. this out and we get to go. Hey sports, what's up Glenn? How's it going? Give me one second, I'm I'm posting this on the um How's it going, sports? As you can tell, we just traded for Miguel Sano. But yeah, I can't. I can't wait. Let's get started. We also signed Arunis Velicon. This guy right here, Atronis Visicano, uh, to be our second reliever after uh, trading away Yoshiana Herano. I'm just so not a huge fan of having. Damn, Randy Dobek is going crazy. I'm just not a huge fan of having a. Uh, what's that boy's name? JP Crawford on the bench, though. I don't know. We are under the light, says the show gets you ready for another I may, edition of I may trade League away D Gordon Tonight, next season. We've got a good matchup in store. For prospects, or if he starts digressing, New York Yankees. The Yankees look for their seventh straight victory. I'm gonna trade him for whatever I can get out of him. We're going up against Garrett Cole. It's gonna be a tough one. Do you think? Do you think that was a good trade? In your opinion, sports? Because I was thinking either him or Josh Bell. D. Gordon. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. I was thinking about one of those boys. Here comes the first pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, that boy threw it fast. Streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Matty, this is one of those special moments. It's in. There you go. Start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Yeah, so Miguel Sano steps up to the plate. One man on. First delivery to him on the way. Cole has pitched north of 1,200 innings in the majors. Through those innings, he's last three games he's hitting 400.20. League average is around 1.3, so that's a respectable number. And he extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And a leaping what a debut! Ball, but it's in vain. Miguel Sano, his first ever at bat, hits a home run. Wow. Two runs on the board after that home run by Miguel Sano. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Mariners move out in front two to nothing. What, what an at-bat. 
way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that, and they take the lead. Wow. To the plate now, Kyle Lewis. As the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. He's got that batting average up over 350 now. 13 home runs and 38 runs batted in. Sent in the air ah. to straight away central. Just got under it. Frazier is right there, one down. A moment now to give you a look at the Mariners' starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, I love what Kyle Seager brings to the table for this team. He's on a nice stretch. That's three home runs in his last ten games. He's swinging the bat really well right now. And by watching his mannerisms in the box, he just looks... A game hitting streak for Mitch Hanniger. some kind of a groove. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. And this is pop foul, but ah. perhaps playable behind first. And Gore ah. is over now, and he's got it for route number two. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. His career line against Garrett Cole. He's got one hit in 20 at bats. He's Kyle Seeger goes the other way. Times as well. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he will Kyle Seeger with the double. With a two out double. One team's dream inning is another team's nightmare, right? That's their third hit of this opening inning. This one a double. That's got to have the pitcher pretty upset out there and the manager wondering how long he's going to go in this one. Here comes Dylan Moore. A guy I struggle with to hit. Into the box, Dylan Moore, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a He's hitting 237, not home runs, 22 RBIs. Hit back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's in the center. No, Kyle is running. Kyle Seager with the run in. Being a starting pitcher in this league will test your resolve. He's already given up more runs in the first inning in this one than he did his entire last start. That's the kind of roller coaster ride that will make you a little crazy. But that's kind of how baseball. Here comes Ty France. Six home runs, 18 RBS. Oh, straight out the second baseman. But Miguel Sano making his debut. Justice Sheffield gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down. Justice Sheffield. do more of the same of that. He should have some pretty good fortune in this one. Gio Ishia. Into the box now. Pretty, pretty good at home. Really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Okay. And fellas, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners at the start of play here tonight. They've had it going the last ten games. They're seven and three mm. over that stretch, including a win last time out. Maddie, this team is oozing confidence right now. They were playing well coming into this game. And what do they do right out of the shoot top of the first throw three spot up on the board they got the opposition on their heels and that's in there three and one got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here love the execution of that pitch down in the zone got to keep the ball in the yard it fairly well straight at the straight away center. center field Lewis Cal Lewis there, puts it away has it for the first down. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Who do you have your eye on? Dan? Aaron Judge is going to be crazy. DJ LeMahieu. He's doing some really special things at home. He's hitting over 350 in 350. games at home, so he's a guy you'd want to watch. Pretty good odds he'll have another big game here. That's ridiculous. At the plate, Mike Talkman. As he'll take ah. a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Bases are empty. He's one with his control. 
lined into left center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Well, that's something you see often in batting practice. Guys using the whole field there, Dero. I like to see that a lefty that's just not always pull happy. 100% Dan. The pitchers have gotten ah, so there much go. nastier in today's game that if you're not willing to play with the entire field, you're going to struggle. The average sits at 286 here to start playing. A dozen home runs and 33 driven in. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. You want to, I want to throw that change up. Ah. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corner. He is, d -Row. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's behind the dish. Now here's one hit in the ah. right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Boy, this is just a case of another really good hitter finding a way, even though that was a soft liner, finding a way there we go. to get hits. Yeah, he usually hits rockets and catches the barrel, but even his soft liners fall. Dan, he has a knack for keeping Damn. his bat in his zone and giving himself a chance much longer than the average ball player. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. There we go. Got him, Aaron Judge. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. This is skied into short left center. Gordon is there and he puts this one away there we go third out. so a great job there of working out a potential trouble Yanks strand a pair they trail it here three to nothing Tom Murphy Tom Murphy will get us started thinking on the uh, second on the Mariners with Tom Ryan they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings First pitch of the at bat on its way. Starts Oof. out with the knuckle curve and he swings through it for strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball. He's behind in the count one two. Ooh that was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. Great mid A B adjustment right there. Swung at the first high fastball and was able to take the second one. Now a fastball up around his shoulders, but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job. Yeah, but he wasn't giving me those calls though. That's the crazy part. Sure, the hitter would want to hear that though. And now, Jake Fraley. This he'll get caught chasing Damn. that one there at strike one. Not a bad one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. And here's a pitch Ooh. inside, and that got him. That was a big mistake right there. This guy might be their best base stealing threat in the lineup, so now he's got a chance to move. All right, now is D Gordon without even putting the ball into play. Single and run. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. D Gordon comes on with one away as he, he was acquired from the Marlins back in 2017. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base, almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer ah. to second base. Urshela in Damn. Ground, and he makes the catch for the second out. Ready to take his hacks again. Miguel Sano as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And he is tagged out here. Wow. Boy, a bad mistake that time as he's picked off. To That's crazy. So stepping in. Torres and he'll be looking to snap out of it in this one. Not having
having much success at the plate over the last week and a half. One and oh the count. Swing. Cool. There it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. And it's gone. Damn. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the Jesus. top in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here. He got that one. And that'll bring up Miguel Induhar. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Changes Damn. Him him if that's in the dirt for the ball. Oh, shit. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Lewis waits on it. One down. There we go. All right, guys, here's Seattle's defensive alignment. And let's focus on Kyle Seeger right here. Former Gold Glove third baseman plays a reliable third base. I think something that he does better than anybody is his ability to come in on those swinging bunts or guys trying to lay a bump down on him. There we go. The ability to have such soft hands and make that off balance throw to first base. Ooh. Ranging back is Henniger on the warning track. He makes the catch. They are hitting deep fly balls. Stepping up now, right now. Gary Sanchez comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. In there, there we go. He has Sanchez over 100 home runs. Absolutely hammers left handed pitching. There's a lot of pop in his swing for sure, but if there's one criticism of his bat, it's that he doesn't put the ball in play enough in these situations. Seems like hitters like this are more and more common these days. One and two, ah. the Yankees catcher. That's great recognition right there on the part of the hitter. Not many guys lay off that one. That was a classic strikeout pitch. The 0-2 good change up with some depth. Two balls and two strikes now. Does he have a nasty slider? Let me check. Swung on and oh, he does. Three. Some of our nation's young minds in future leap. All right, let's see Miguel Sano. And digging in is the big time power threat, Miguel Sano. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. We didn't sign him out the Dominican Republic. Uh, we, uh, we traded for him. Ah. And he's quickly in the hole, Owen, too. Too high. One and two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Two and two the count. Now here's the pitch. And a good oh. bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. He has 13 home runs. Start on the Mariners. Strike now from Cole. Heading out towards shallow right. Judges on two down. Just late. All right, here comes Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly Damn. just missed it. With this guy's big power. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. And with the highest team batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage in the league, it's probably safe to say they are an absolute force with the bat in their hands. As one coach put it, we're extremely fortunate. Fortunate to have incredible talent and fortunate to have incredible work ethic. Our guys really are always trying to improve their game, and you see that in the numbers they're putting up. Back to you, Matt. Thank you, Heidi. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to follow it away. Teal Shield was acquired from Toronto back in 2018. There's 
Ah. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks, and even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Nice. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. He reached on a single in his first try. He did. In the air. Not this time. There you go. He's gonna get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up DJ LeMayhew. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Hey, a two-on walk right here would be the time run to the plate, even though it's early on. You got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Hanniger in pursuit. He tracks there we it go. down, and that will end the inning. So All right, here comes Kyle Seeger. Kyle Seeger will try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to save it. Oh. Would have been a single, dude. That goddamn shift. Stepping into the box, Dylan Moore looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Ball strike on the knuckle curve, and he's ahead in the count, nothing in one. Hey, you think back to the early innings right there, you thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Tuckman goes back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the Damn. second out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. In now, Ty France hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can do. You can't control the result sometimes, Maddie. Just unlucky with the placement. A ball and no strikes. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire getting his head right now. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Now here's the pitch. Ah. Which is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Oh, why did I do that? I didn't want to swing it. Damn. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Aaron Judge. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one, only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy. Give me that one. Started. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Alright. Striding into the box, Clint Frazier. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Damn. And that misses ball one. Ooh. Two balls ah. and strike. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute. What you mean? He's, a, he's hitting 297. Starting right now. Two balls and a strike now. Here's a ball bounced out to the shortstop, Gordon. And there's out number two. Ridiculous. Oh yeah, I threw a bad one. The last that Shit. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. And he lays 
He's off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Here's a swing and a ground ball for Seeger down at third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. There we go. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And it remains. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next will be the power hitting catcher, Tom Murphy. Bouncer to the left Damn side. Damn Scooped up. And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out, one away. I have started taking pitches. Jake Fraley. He's got to be looking for vengeance after getting plunked in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. A ball and a strike. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, ah. and stay in this at bat. Even count two balls and two strikes. Shut up, man. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Ah. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next is Speedy D. Gordon. Misses inside one and zero. Oh. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fast. Trying to make him throw more pitches. Three to one, our score as we play inning number five. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Lemayhew will put this one away, and the side is retired. Nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now, as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs, but he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Behind 0-2 now. Oh, a mistake I made. Slap hard the opposite way. I was about to say. And this is a fair ball as it'll head for the 314 side. And the Yankees are in business here. It's Damn. a leadoff double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And the next to bat, the Dominican-born catcher, Gary Sanchez. Ball one to start the at-bat. The one and no delivery. Got him. Okay. Damn. Fastball now for a called strike two. And it's three and two now to the number nine hitter. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's Damn not it. the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. hit pretty well out toward right center field on the run is Henniger and the play is made but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up and they'll get a step closer it's a sack fly to make it a three to two game now digging in Mike Talkman he's working on a one for two game so far and it's fouled away Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. 
Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. That's a good but risky take there on 0 and 2. Some umpires have no problem ringing you up on a pitch that close. Uh, this there we is go. Gonna hang up there just long enough to be taken in on the run in shallow left, and that ends. Here's Miguel Sano. Ready with the Let's take some pitch. pitches here. to run it full now three and two and just when you needed a shutdown inning a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda he needs a oh fastball strike three called on the outside corner and a pretty generous corner at that is that's the first down of the inning standing in now Kyle Lewis He'll follow one into the dirt and come up no, my fault. the first strike. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Three runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. That finds the zone, a called strike. Fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Here now the two two. Locks him oh, what did I do? Three. Why did I not swing at that? Oh my no goodness. Way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do and to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. Mitch Henniger stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. One and one to count. Well, I'm making him throw more pitches than he's ever thrown in an inning, so that's cool. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. Jesus, my God. Last half of the inning, and that will bring in DJ LeMayhew. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Swings through it for strike number two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Gordon is there. Throw on to first in time, one away. Here's big Aaron Judge. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And this is taken outside for ball one. Yeah, he was 2017 rookie of the year. Oof. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Damn, I don't know where that's going. You want to throw? You want to show me, like when I tell you to give me a pitch location? There we go. Field as he lines this down the line in right, 
And this will find the wall deep in the corner. The relay. And he's able to hustle his way up Damn second it. as he'll reach here with a two base hit. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he lifts it in the air to right field. Henniger. There we go. With one hand to make the catch on the move and that. Riding in once again. Finally got a hit. It's our fifth hit of the game, dude. That was a good hit. I don't know what else you want me to do. From the stretch, Ty France comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike. Nothing a huge fan of that pitch. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left. Did I get that one? Let's go! This one ain't coming back. Ty France, seventh home run of the season. straight away left seven home runs for him on the year now and just like that it's now a 5-2 ball game you don't see this very often on this starting pitcher this guy's not used to giving up some bombs so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call and he'll start throwing some better pitches Jordan Montgomery comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh Eesh. okay Take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. One and Ooh, two now is that was too low. I can't ever tell if it's going to be outside. I can't ever tell if it's going to be outside, dude. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0-2. inside and low it's a ball and two strikes two out nobody on tried to shoot the corner and he missed it two and two well all of the umpires in the seats thought that was strike three and they weren't far I did too off. I think that was a good call looked to be just a bit outside and they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best. Jake Fraley with the double. Start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. And here's the speedster, D. Gordon. One ball, no strikes to count. Lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder on the run. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. 
to second now, but he's safe as a run will score on the play as well. Well, that makes it a four-run deficit, so you might have to start wondering if this is too much for them to come back. They've only been able to scratch across 13 the RBIs for him. entire game so far, so coming up with four more in this one might Miguel be Sano. Miguel Sano. Back in the first Stand inning. Here, but before he does, let's take it back to the very first inning. Right. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. From the stretch. No swing apparently, ball one. He's one for three with the home run to his belt. A little late that time as he swings and misses for strike one. I knew that was gonna be an flip a coin right here. I don't know what you sit on. Fastball in, then a breaking ball down and away. Pick your spot and go with it. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. He might strike me out again. He set now the pitch. And a break oh, never mind. Runs in and gets him, and I doubt there was any intent behind that. You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks a little bit too much. Comes all the way across the comes Kyle and Lewis. The Stepping in, Kyle Lewis. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for them. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue in this inning, Matt. A hit here could really fire up that dugout. Gordon at second. Sano on at first with two down. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Oh, what I do that? He can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in a box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Sent out to straight away center field. That was a good one. He's going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Side friends. They strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Get up. Last half of the seventh here, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Miguel Andujar. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. At the plate, Aaron Hicks. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Fastball well outside. Two runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Right down the middle with a changeup, but not what he was looking for, taken for a strike. Here's a pop up now. Seeger has a play, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now with the plate, Gary Sanchez. It was a walk in his last trip. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly into the second deck and gone. Hey, that's the price you pay right there. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So his final line will show six and two third innings pitched. He was very effective out there, no doubt. Johan Ramirez takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Swing and a line Ooh. drive, but just foul. Good chance he's not seeing that pitch again. If he does, it's got to be bounced. But I'll tell you from a pitcher's perspective, that's nothing but a long strike. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Damn. This one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses ball four, so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Ready now, Mike Talkman. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0 
one pitch. I got to count all oh, into. And he fouls this one off. The next 0-2 is swung on and missed strike three. The Yankees answer right back on the solo home run. Seven cool. Start of the eighth on its way, but first Heidi Watney standing by with this report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's Scott offensive service. performance so far, and flat out he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Mitch Hanniger swings and misses there, so he's got Shut your mouth. one. Now a swing Ooh. and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. A ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. Look like. And I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. Now a change of luck. I gotta start swinging at those. It's strike three called one away. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Kyle Seeger stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Like that pitch there, lefty on lefty matchup, curveball away to a lefty, smart pitch. Slow grounder to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, Dylan Moore. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. Two out, nobody on. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. Bouncer up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. So now to the plate, Ty France has the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. I gotta He's start. working on a one for three thus far. And he just hey. manages to get his hand in. And again a throw. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. A runner on first with two away. off for second pitch outside the throw not in time as he steals second well they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that back so they were onto him but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance nice job of base running there yep very nice Not a single pitch was inside the zone, dude. Curveball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. One left for. How many times have I struck out this game, dude? Nine times, that's ridiculous. Arotis Viscaino is out from the bullpen now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Set. Here it comes. Viscaino, once an Atlanta Brave, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. And he didn't have an opportunity well, today. to get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy. Opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. Two and two. Field 
field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Pitch on the way. Damn. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. We do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Fraley is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Ready for another shot now. Clint Frazier. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Damn. That's one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball. Just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Little dribbler up the third baseline. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. So. Pitch on the way. I'm taking these next two pitches. Not that one, though. <laughs> and he misses with it, one and one. Fouled straight back. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw hits <laughs> him at first base as he took away a sure base hit that time. Here's D. Gordon now. Not that I can do that. Off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Who keeps texting me, dude? pitch on its way and he pops him up drifting toward the left side of the infield Urshela is there and the side is retired nothing Torres will stand in here hoping to no, that's not what I wanted get back in the second yeah. inning as we flash you back to take another look at a solo home run that helped get this offense my bad you're gonna have to finish this man shave the corner with that pitch but it's one and one Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. The one two pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Lewis waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Andres Munoz comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Now the pitch. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2 0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Lewis is there you go. quickly two are gone here, and it's not looking good for the home nine. Digging in to try it again, Aaron Hicks. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Strike one Holy to start the at bat. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Last chance for the Yankees. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. In there, a base hit. So that two out success what the Gary hell? Sanchez will get to hit here. And he will make it up to third base, as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. So some real problems out there that time as it'll wind up in E7. 
Holy hell, why are people touching me right now? Gary Sanchez is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. The 0 1 pitch. My bad, it was a work thing. And this will be a called strike two. In trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Damn it. Misses and we're even at two and two. As I'm down to their final strike, here it comes. There we go. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. The Seattle Mariners posted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Justice Sheffield earns his sixth winning decision in this one. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. About time, Jesus. My word. Saturday edition of Inside the Show. I'm Justin Allegri. Starting in the AL West, Justice Sheffield got the win, his sixth so far this year, helping lead the Mariners over the Yankees 6-3. to three. He is among the AL leaders in wins. The Red Sox knocked out 10 hits as a team as they got the home victory against the Astros 7-5. to five. Ian Kennedy got his second W of the season, leading Kansas City past the Rangers 5-4. Felix Pena collected his fifth win in relief, helping lead the Angels to the victory over Oakland 3-1. The Baltimore Orioles snapped their five-game losing streak as they beat the Blue Jays in Toronto 4-0. The Rays combined for 10 hits as a team as they took down the Tigers in Detroit 7-3. Cody Stashak collected win number three this year, helping lead the Twins to the win over the White Sox 3-2. The Braves combined to allow only four hits as they got the best of the visiting Mets, four to three. The Washington Nationals totaled 11 hits as they beat the visiting Marlins, three to two. The Padres only allowed two hits in the game as they got past the Reds in Cincinnati, two to one. The win was their fifth straight as a team. We're pretty much the done. Um, I'll be back with this later. As they nabbed uh, the win against the visiting Cubs, two to nothing. Wanted to do this real quick. The Giants grabbed 13 hits in the game as they Didn't defeated call the Pirates at PNC Park, four to nothing. Carlos Martinez grabbed his second win of the year as the Cardinals downed Arizona, two to nothing. The Phillies got 11 hits overall as they took care of the Rocks in Colorado, six to one. 
The Cleveland Indians amassed 14 hits in the game as they pushed past the Dodgers at Chavez Ravine 7-2. It was their fifth straight victory. And that's what's going on around baseball heading into today's action. Join us again tomorrow for more updates from around Major League Baseball. We will be back. We will be back later. You guys have a good one. Man. I guess I know. What a bomb.